Hayes. Sarah Mock has more. Wheat growers from across the country are in Washington this week meeting with policymakers about their 2018 priorities, but they're also here meeting with partners from across the industry, all the way from seed to table. Of course, one of those important steps is Miller's. We're lucky to be joined by James McCarthy, the CEO of the North American Miller's Association. James, what are your priorities being uh, meeting here with wheat growers today? Well, we're part all part of the grain chain. So from the beginning, from the where the grain is grown all the way through the uh, market, the retail market, uh, we're involved. So as a, a trade association that represents the millers of wheat, corn and oats and other products throughout the United States, we're here principally to support our friends uh, who we work with in this whole global and particularly domestic supply chain. Trade is, is a top of mind for, for so many in Washington right now. Could you talk a little bit about what NAMA's priorities are, what their reactions have been to, to what we've heard about NAFTA renegotiation so far? Yeah, we're very concerned about uh, NAFTA renegotiation. Uh, we understand that probably some tweaking around the side, it is a, a policy that's been going on for some time, but we don't think that there should be a wholesale change uh, to NAFTA because it has been successful, particularly in the agriculture sector. Many of my members, my milling members, have mills in Canada as well as the United States, and we often ship a grain back and forth or fl uh, finish flour. So uh, any major change that would disrupt that situation we think could be very problematic and very costly. Could you talk a little bit about maybe what um, what it would look like for you know someone who's buying wheat flour or someone who's buying oat flour? What would what would NAFTA do to maybe your price in the grocery store? Yeah, if well, if the negotiations fail and we're not able to continue to maintain NAFTA, we're concerned that the prices could go very high because there would be the potential for duties on both sides of the border. Uh, this was a situation I've actually was involved with NAFTA when it was first created, uh, representing a different segment of the food industry, and it's proved extremely successful. Uh, we work so closely with our allies across the border, uh, but we're worried that the cost to the consumer ultimately would go up um, if, if we're not able to keep that free flow of trade and those costs down. For your members specifically, you of course have members in all three of the NAFTA countries. Uh, what are their concerns? What are their, are, are they anxious or, or do they have confidence at this point that uh, NAFTA might be successfully renegotiated? I, I think we're, we're pretty confident, uh, we're hopeful. Uh, we've been sending letters to uh, both Canada, Mexico and the United States and negotiators uh, urging that we have a very uh, a productive discussion, but at the end of the day that we have a, a better NAFTA than we started out with. Well, an important message to leave us off there. Uh, of course, American agriculture is critical for diets, not just in the United States, but across North America and around the world. Uh, we're lucky enough again to be joined again by James McCarthy, the CEO of the North American Millers Association.